I would, today I would like to talk about how we started a pilot activity focused on responsible bioscience in one of the university faculties. And after four years, we attempt to have uh, an institution-wide approach for social responsibility of science at our institution. First of all, a few words of introduction. Um, the University of Gdańsk is um, the largest higher education institution in Northern Poland, and our Star Wars 2 activities have been planned as pilot actions in one of the units at the Intercollegiate Faculty of Biotechnology of the University of Gdańsk and Medical University of Gdańsk, in short, IFB. The research interests at IFB cover the areas of uh, molecular microbiology, medical biology, and molecular diagnostics, as well as molecular plant research. In order to attain structural changes for responsible research and innovation, we planned a wide range of activities at IFB. They covered topics in the fields of societal engagement, gender equality, education, open access, and ethics. We have grouped these activities in the so-called streams of actions, and we planned work in the several fields. At a very early stage of the implementation, we realized that in order to attain structural change in the IFB, very often we will need to reach out beyond the Faculty of Biotechnology. We will need to add other expertise to the expertise of the bioscientists, and we will need to act on a university-wide level. In our case, we decided to try to benefit from being a large university. We have involved experts from other faculties, from different university units, and from various levels of university administration in the planning and in the execution of our actions. Um, our action plan team became a, multidisciplin a multidisciplinary team and got like an onion-like multi-layer structure. So for example, in order to execute activities related to open science, we work together with experts from the university library and from the office for science. Um, another example is gender equality, where we work together with scientists from the faculty of social sciences, especially psychology. I will explain more about these two examples in a few minutes. One further example is societal engagement. Besides the bioscientists, our team included experts from political sciences, technology assessment, management studies, and technology transfer. It was uh, also of utmost importance to us to include uh, the faculty and university authorities into our core team at a very early stage, from the very beginning. Um, we included uh, the IFB Dean and later the Vice Dean. We, have also, we were also lucky to have the Vice Rector on board. We were in close contact with the main university authorities and other members of the university with very specific competencies. Why was this important? Um, because we could on the one hand very well and quickly explain what is important in terms of the goals that we needed or intended to achieve within the Star Bios 2 Action Plan. And on the other hand, we learned immediately about various initiatives that were conducted by other groups and bodies within the organization. And so very often we could benefit from synergy effects. Um, for example, the recent reform of the system of higher education sector in Poland brought a synergy effect. University authorities have recognized more and more the importance of RRI in the so-called third mission of the universities, as it has been included in the periodic national evaluation of research unit by the ministry. Uh, also, these effects of the evaluation will have a concrete impact on the funding that research entities will receive. One of the steps taken in the direction of providing institutional change at the University of Gdańsk was signing the Declaration of Social Responsibility, an initiative organized by another ministry, Polish Ministry of Development in 2017. At that time, 23 Polish higher education institutions signed this declaration and being a signatory emphasizes the university's engagement in the dialogue with society on research and innovation, as well as education and organizational matters. So representatives of the University of Gdańsk have also become members of the Working Group on Social Responsibility of Academia, founded by the Ministry of Development. This group gathers on a regular basis, working on the comprehensive review of the issue, including um, a collection of best practices. The group actively works on further dissemination and education activities on national level to engage non-participating universities to join. 
Moreover, the University of Gdańsk has also become a part of the bottom-up organized forum of engaged universities, consisting currently of seven Polish universities. This initiative also focuses on the issue of the engaged research and is showcasing engaged research practices and a societal impact. Um, there have already been meetings at the Ministry of Sci for Science and Higher Education to, um, in order to make this initiative visible to decision makers in the higher education sector. Another element which was crucial in our way towards a sustainable university-wide approach was securing additional funding for, for um, RRI-related activities. This has allowed to broaden the scope of activities. Now I would like to show quickly two examples of our institutional-wide approaches. The first one is the open access policy. In the STABIOS2 initial plan, we thought about open access activities at IFB, and we did some activities such as, such as organizing panel discussions, presentations, trainings, general awareness rising, workshops on author's rights, etc., participation during the International Open Access Week. But we understood that to achieve a better impact, it is best to be a catalyst for university-wide actions. Following the guidelines of the Ministry for Science and Higher Education, the University of Gdańsk introduced the open access policy in 2017 and is implementing it step by step. The elements are the University of Gdańsk repository, the knowledge base, which is a platform that brings together information about publications and scientific achievements of research staff, and the university academic um, journal platform. Here um, you can see a print screen from the knowledge base where each scientist has a scientific profile and where information on his achievements, uh, publications are collected. The knowledge base also allows to search for information on publications of selected authors or um, uh, university units. Here, for example, for the Intercollegiate Faculty of Biotechnology for the years 2015-2020, you can see several records aligned according to topics, which can also be exported in form of reports. So it is easy to find an information about the current research that is being conducted um, by the university staff. And, and here, a print screen from the University Academic Journal Platform. This is a platform for journals that are published by the University of Gdańsk. And currently this platform um, makes 31 journals available. We see a movement uh, within the numbers of open access publishing by the University of Gdańsk. In the two biggest scientific databases, Scopus and Web of Science, we observe a continuous increase of articles in the open access mode in relation to the overall number of articles published by University of Gdańsk researchers. We are also doing some progress in the area of open research data. Here, for example, a project which focuses on establishing a digital platform for collecting and making research data openly available. As a second example I would, uh, of our, current, uh, of our current, current policies, I would like to speak about um, the RRI key gender. Within the Starbios 2 action plan, we planned and implemented several actions uh, here from analysis based on desk research, uh, conducting focus groups, conducting surveys at IFB over specific interventions, such as workshops, for example, towards raising general awareness. The starting point was that women uh, researchers are strongly present in bioscience at lower career levels, but underrepresented in leading positions. And as you can see in this gender scissors diagram for 2019, um, this situation is still the case. This uh, diagram shows the numbers for the whole university. Our idea for the gender equality queue was to bring up the awareness that, not, that only by inclusion and diversity management, the potential of both men and women can be optimally used for the performance of science in a friendly working environment. Some actions that were introduced by the University of Gdańsk are aligned with these conclusions. So these are, for example, the opening of the university kindergarten for children of staff and students, conducting diversity management trainings for scientists, which go further beyond only the gender question and address diversity in a more general, man in a more general manner. Elements of diversity management are also part of the new RRI-related courses introduced 
courses for students introduced at IFB. Moreover, the university actively engages in international activities supporting the equality of men and women. One example is the community of practice in Central and Eastern Europe. So for the, from the point of view of the RRI keys, after the open access policy, there seems now to be the time for the policy, for the social responsibility at our institution. On the strategic level, this goal has, has already been accepted in the strategy of the University of Gdańsk for 2020 uh, until 2025. One of the set strategic objective is openness, social responsibility and engagement of the university. So this strategy assumes the development and implementation of a model of social inclusion, anti-discrimination, social equality and diversity management. The rector has also established a committee for the implementation of the social responsibility policy at the university. And I'm happy to say that a large part of the Starbios uh, two core team works in this committee. So now how and experience that have been gained during the implementation of the Starbios two project can be sustained and can be used further. The committee has already planned several activities related to gender equality and diversity management on the operational level. So to sum up from our experience, if speaking of introducing changes in the organization, we highly recommend to take opportunities of multidisciplinary collaboration and getting support from the community, involving authorities from the beginning, looking for synergies with strategic institutional objectives and the wider policy context, and always keeping your eyes open for additional funding and not losing the focus for sustainability. At least these elements have proven to bring a lot of added value to our efforts deriving from the Starbios 2 project. Thank you very much for your attention.